Ooh, I have something to collect. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> I know what it is. It's a present. Not for me, someone else. <gasps> Luckily, it's not such a walk to the actual theater office from here, so lots of fun. I think we can call that mission a success. Now, what should we have this week for Gusto? Basically, this is the Gusto menu selection screen. So you don't get just a random selection of meals each week. You get to choose what you like. It's only a handful of them. Um, and I've spent the categories like Chosen For You, which is based on recipes that you've had in the past. All recipes, 10 minute meals, which is my favourite category. Quick and easy, everyday favourites, chicken, prepped in five. And what I tend to do for us is the 10 minute meals, cause, because they're done in 10 minutes, obviously. So let's have a look at that first. Chicken satay with pickled chilli cucumber. Black dal with herby kachima and naan. What on earth is that? This creamy, luscious dal only takes 10 minutes to make. You'll serve it with minty tomato. You'll serve it with a minty tomato, cucumber and corn salad and fluffy naan for dipping. Mm. Yeah, I question is, is that enough for one person? <laughs> Would that be enough for one person for me? Hmm. Nasi goreng with cucumber and sriracha. We don't have many 10 minute meals this week. This happens occasionally. Nasi goreng with cucumber and sriracha. Okay, let's add that one. And like I know I said, let's go for that one and just see what happens. If it's not enough, I'll just do it with some toast. And then what we do, just click check out. And just like that, it confirms it and we're done. Can we take a brief moment for the sunflowers? <laughs> I mean, I think they're past their best. I mean, there's a little, little ray of hope there, but I think they're past their best. <laughs> so we're here at the Romany waiting room. It's meant to be Nutella, hot chocolate, so we'll see how it tastes I also got this baguette. And Chris has gone for bacon roll, because it's someone's birthday. And there's mum and dad, with their bacon and bacon rolls. And very quickly before we leave, I have to show you the TARDIS. It's actually a toilet, but it's the TARDIS. See, there's a toilet inside. <laughs> it's actually a proper name, it's called the TARDIS. Here we've now headed on a different path, behind the Romney Room that I have never been on before. I never existed, so here we are. And there's Chris taking a photo from the distance. This is Crescent Twilight taking photos of herself selfies with the dad. <laughs> It started raining, but we just found there's a swing here. It looks a bit high though, and I don't think you get very far. You might hurt yourself if you use it. Mm. <laughs> Rain! It's raining a little bit. Very nice here, I didn't even know. You know I've always seen the gate, but I've never actually ventured into it, so exploring. Oh dear, I think the algae has taken over this pond. <laughs> smells a bit runnier as well. Mm. <laughs> Okay, I'm sure it's actually a path, but it feels like we're kind of going for an explore. <laughs> there's no actual path in there. We can see it's a walkthrough path. But it's going through the ground. It's all right. We're fine. We've come out on a path. We came out from down there and run a path again. It's all good. We're, we're not. That looks very dramatic. A little church in the little church in the distance as well. So we're in Font Hills now, and as you might be surprised, there's Hawkins. And there are these cute pots. You have jack o' lanterns on them. Of course, we'll see a little bit. Tinsel for Halloween. Okay, interesting. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Just imagine looking at you in a garden. Look at these cute bonsai trees. Now you've got a Lego version at home, so I wonder if I look anything like them. We'll see if I like. And it's not even Halloween yet, and Christmas has landed. This reminds me of Narnia lamppost. Just imagine, get through the wardrobe and lie in the, in the wardrobe to see this lamppost. Okay, it's a bit less eerie than the Narnia lamppost, but it's got a similar shape. And I think that was a rather successful day. That hot chocolate was a little bit too sweet for my taste because I don't really have sugar and tea milk and I think this, the sugar syrup was just a little bit too much for me, a bit too sweet. But we saw the TARDIS. We actually seen slightly inside of the TARDIS now, the TARDIS toilet at the Romney waiting room. We had a little adventure through somewhere we've never really been to before, which considering it's so close to here is a bit strange. And we went to a garden centre which had Halloween and Christmas stuff. I think I'll call that a good day. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching and maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.